Today's video is sponsored by the Lizard People. Open the Fusion page, add a background node and a merge node after. Bring your text node in empty space. Once you have your lame title ready, go to the shading tab and change the appearance to the second option to keep only the outline. Add a transform node after and make sure to choose the second one in the list. With this, you have separated X and Y position sliders. Right click to the Y position slider and select to modify it with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the source to duration, the curve to easing, and set the in to expo and the out to sign. With the scale and offset slider, you set the starting and ending position of the text. Once you've made your animation, increase the time scale slider to four. Basically, this means the animation will be four times faster than the duration of the clip. Add a duplicate node after, increase the copy slider, and bring down the time offset slider to minus one. Move the center position of the duplicates, connect it to the merge node as a foreground. With the merge node selected, add another one after. Copy your text node, right click in some empty space, and select to paste instance. This way, anything you change in one text node will update in the second one also. Go to the shading tab of the second text and change the appearance mode. You can see that it is changing the appearance of every text, but this is not what we want. Again, I was blaming the developers, but I found out that if you right click to the value that you want and select the distance, change the appearance, and now whatever you change on this value will not affect the other text node. Copy the transform node and paste it over. Connect your second text node to this and then to the second merge node. With the second transform node selected, go to the modifiers tab and adjust the time offset slider. Once you are satisfied with your incredible animation, you can go to the duplicate node and animate the copy slider. If you are brave enough, you can use the keyframe window or even the spline editor but I'm not that brave. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, give me all your money and go somewhere else.